All right, so next thing I wanted to show you was um, how the styles and the templates are done in this uh, video editing scenario. So let's go into our demo video and, uh, and the demo video is loading up and, and you would upload your own video and it would uh, transcribe it and show you the transcriptions right here. So let's say I, I selected a short part of this video uh, and I wanna create a, a short from this video. Uh, and so I'm just gonna add this to my highlights here. And, uh, and now I see the templates library right here. So there's some default subtitle templates that we offer and you can choose from one of those. And, and you can see there's different ways the subtitles show up and, uh, and you, can, you can directly basically say apply this templates and the subtitles will show up as yellow and, 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 and that's, that's how it'll, it'll appear. And, uh, or you say if I've spent time in creating a template or if I want to update this template Say I want to change this from yellow to our pick for it purple. Uh, I can do that too. So let's try to do that. Let's try to change this template. So to change the templates, you have to go into the customize highlight video. And uh, and again, you once you go in there, you it will let you uh, it, it'll show the styles and the branding tab just like we saw last time. So right now you can see. It shows up right here and, uh, and it, it has a, a transparent background um, with, a, with a yellow font. So I can go in there and I can say, hey, instead of this, I want to change this subtitle yellow and I want to make it subtitle purple. So I go in there and instead of yellow, I pick the color purple, the Pickford color. And, uh, and that becomes my, uh, my subtitle font now. So maybe instead of a transparent background, I will use a white background. So I will remove the transparency from there. And I will say this is white. So I'm just going to pick the white color. And uh, there is a little bit of a shadow. So I'm going to remove the shadow as well because uh, it appears blur. So, so I'm going to change, make this change here. So so that's my uh, that's how I would say okay now this is my subtitles purple font or, or form uh, or style and uh, and I can uh, change it and I can say okay apply this to uh, my templates so subtitles purple and and I say add this uh, to my template so and uh, I see subtitles purple here and and I can say make this my default style and I again change the even the name of the template to subtitles purple and I can now um, apply this I can apply this to all my scenes I can make this the default default scene style and I can say apply this to all scenes so now I get this this template uh, instead of the yellow one so so that's how you would uh, use uh, you would save this template and now when I when I open this project again uh, with a different demo I will see my uh, in, in my templates I will see a subtitle purple option I also have the option to use this template that I used last time uh, for text to video and I can just click on that and it will show the text using this format that I that I set it up for my text to video style. So, so we have various options here. And uh, once you've, um, this is the default template that gets applied. This, uh, even if you, even if you select, say, uh, a, a short video to create from, by using this uh, highlighted selections and just say generate video. If you say generate video, it will apply this template that we applied here and it will apply that to the generated video. So same thing with highlighted video. If you wanna create highlights, uh, add to highlights, add to highlights. So it's, it's actually gonna, it's gonna, gen, it's gonna use the, the template that I've selected as my, as my default template um, for all those videos. So if, if I go in there and generate uh, download video clips, it will use this format for all my videos. 
So that's how the, there's a slight uh, difference on how this works now because of the templates and the styles. And, uh, and you just make sure you select the right template um, before, you, before you generate your video. Because remember, we, 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 there's no concept of brand settings anymore. It's all contained within the templates. So because everything is contained within the templates, you have to apply the template before, uh, before you get the video, that, the kind of video that you wanna see. So that's, that's it for templates and styles from Pictory. And we hope you'd, uh, you really enjoy working with Pictory now with the new formats and the templates and the styles. And we'd love your feedback on what you think and uh, how we can improve this um, even further and, and make this work for you better. So thank you so much.